If you had a warning label, what would it say? Passionate about food. Do you cook? I lovingly eat absolutely everything she cooks, but uh, I have no dexterity in the kitchen. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tea with Teachers. I'm Talia, and I am here today with Dr. Bruno Verdini, co-founder of the Haas Concentration in Negotiation and Leadership. You are from Mexico, and then you lived in Paris, and then you came here to MIT for your PhD. And your fiance is a New York Jew. So <laughs> when you were younger, did you have any kind of life plan? I had the conditions to devote my time to study which is a blessing in a world with so much sadness and, and hurt and pain. And I've always been passionate about anything that is related to principles, values, ethics, law, and so on. These are more fun questions, okay. just like that. Can we talk a little bit more about how you met your fiance? <laughs> of course, of course. You know, Amalia and I were both graduate students at uh, the Department of Urban Studies and Planning. At the time, you know what, I, I we were in the same classroom and when I would have to hand in some paperwork. Amalia would be so kind and, and always smiling. And I would think to myself, you know, that's a very elegant woman. Look how caring she is. And, uh, but I had no clue that, of course, there was an ulterior motive. She wasn't <laughs> smiling for no reason. And um, eventually we, we had uh, a romance. Is there anything that you wish would come back into fashion? <laughs> Um, maybe from your youth or just from history? I think I like fashion currently as it is now. Okay, are you a morning person or a night owl? I love that silence that you get really late at night and really early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And there's something about it that allows you to really thrive when you're writing. And the happiness, of course, if you're a morning person now is that by the time it's 11 a.m. you've already worked like six hours and you feel like you've accomplished a lot. So I, yeah. I do like that. I was wondering what kinds of things I guess when you were younger, did you do for fun out of school? And what do you do now? No, I was passionate about every single sport, like NBA, the NFL, <laughs> soccer, of course, being from Mexico and so on, uh, and France too, and the World Cup. And that remains, even to this day, when I have a little moment, I'll drop by ESPN and read the latest or follow a good column on the ringer and so on. In which other teacher or professor's class would you like to enroll in here at MIT, even if it was just for one day? You know, I've been hearing a lot about 2009 from my students. Okay. And I think uh, that would be, for someone trained in social sciences, quite a challenge mm -hmm. and rewarding. If you could pass on any piece of wisdom to your students, what would it be? Let's say that your soul or your heart is an app and it's been covered by ice when you were born. And as time goes by, um, the sun shines in different parts and that melts. And then you get to see uh, the apple itself, those sides, and that's how you define yourself. And you say, these are my skills, these are my talent, this is who I am. But then because other parts are still covering ice, you don't describe yourself as having these talents or those elements. And what I hope to convey through the classroom exercises and materials and experience the journey is that let's figure out ways to, to move the apple, get the sun to shine in other parts, let's get it to melt, and discover all this beauty and strength that you have. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Tea with Teachers. If you like what you saw, subscribe and watch more videos here. Follow us on social media here. If you have suggestions for questions or professors, let us know down in the comments below. Have a great week.